someone will write in and say, I just finished reading the end of Final Quest, and they're crying, and, and uh, other fans will step in and say, oh, they're there, and send comfort. <laughs> Our editor at Dark Horse cried. Elf Quest, now that it's been over for a little while, number one, I'm curious, as you've gone out to conventions, what have been the reactions? What have people been saying? It has been amazing. As I was finishing the last issue, I was very nervous. And I would frequently call Richard and say, how are they going to react to this? I'm, am I pulling this off? Am I staging this correctly? You know, is everything okay? And he would constantly, he had the patience of a saint with me, <laughs> constantly soothing me. But when it came out, uh, the, the reaction was breathtaking. The fans, of course, they're, it's, let's just say the ending is bittersweet. And the fans had a re reaction to the sad side, but the, it was like a standing ovation. We are still four or five months after the release of the issue, getting a wave of, of love, of appreciation, of heartfelt reaction that we've frankly never seen in all the years we've done ElfQuest. As of this convention, there's, it's like there's another wave of reaction because Dark Horse just released volume four of the Final Quest series and of course volume four contains the ending. The collection. So people, some people are just reading it now. So we're, we're getting another wave of reaction. So do people cry? Do you just have like Kleenex at the table you have to give people we hugs and comfort? We advised them to have Kleenex ready. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but they're taking care of each other. We, we follow the threads online on the ElfQuest fan page and someone will write in and say, I just finished reading the end of Final Quest. And they're crying and, and uh, other fans will step in and say, oh, they're there and send comfort. <laughs> Our editor at Dark Horse cried. Yes. <laughs> when we went to visit him, he cried in front of us. And, and we have gotten emails. Spencer will never forgive you for that. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten emails from people who say, I hate you. Yes. Wendy for making me cry. Yes. Of course, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek because it's not real hate mail, but that's the only way that, that it can be expressed. I, I got a, a message on Facebook from uh, an artist that we worked with uh, years ago on the Shards storyline in ElfQuest, uh, Brandon McKinney, and uh, we're actually looking forward to working with him again, hopefully. Um, and Brandon said, I just read the end of Final Quest, and this is the first comic that I've read in my life that ever made me cry. And I'm like, wow, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> A few months. <laughs> Our work is done. <laughs> but, but I guess the question is, is it? Because, I mean, Dark Horse got a hold of it. You've been working with them for mm -hmm. a little while, and they've been re-releasing things. But, I, I mean, Elf Quest is ostensibly one of the most important groundbreaking independent comics ever made, uh, are they saying, so what's next, gang? Uh, well, all right, I'm going to leave. You're, you're, <laughs> he's dead. Very much. Us. They, even <laughs> a year before Final Quest wrapped up, they were throwing hints out at us and said, well, we're going to wrap up in a year. Um, you got anything else? Mm -hmm. And, of course, the answer is yes because fans would say, Final Quest, final, that's a very, very scary word. And Final Quest is the conclusion of a 40-year arc. Yes, that's true. But there are still stories left to be told. Mm. There are characters in Final Quest who survive the end of the story. Their stories need to be told. There's a whole future world. We call it Future Quest. And those stories need to be told. So there's more. There's more to come. But the difference is, uh, I made it clear to everybody when I finished Final Quest that I have worked to my last deadline. I've been meeting deadlines since I was 19 years old, and I'm done meeting deadlines. So that means we'll be working with other talent. We'll be working with other artists and writers and supervising, and maybe in some cases writing, but I won't be drawing ElfQuest. <laughs>